And I'm here with a person that's really my neighbor. I'm out of Boise, Idaho, and you're Correct. out of Provo, Utah. Correct. Scott Taylor from Vivint. Yes. Now, how would you describe your company? Alarm, security, you know, what, what ways do you do describe your company? And then talk to us about what you guys are doing in the enterprise mobility field. Sure. So, um, to describe our company, we had to rebrand. So, we used to be uh, APX Alarm, and um, the alarm doesn't so much fit anymore. We released uh, home automation, uh, temperature control, as well as uh, video in the home. So, now we uh, coin ourselves the largest home automation company in uh, North America. We cover all of Canada, all of the United States, Puerto Rico, and Hawaii. Um, so, we are now Vivint. And uh, it stands for Live Intelligence, and we've got some amazing products. So we've got about a 50% increase in our product line from our alarm panels. Um, we are indeed the development of a new panel for the industry that uh, it's touchscreen. So our base customer has a touchscreen keypad that has updatable firmware. So as we develop, um, we can make changes to it. One of the biggest impacts was recently the Joplin tornado. Uh, weeks before we had updated the firmware and uh, we had several lives saved because of tornado alert from the National Weather Service is just one more thing we added to the panel's function so since rollout you could see tomorrow's weather on the panel um, so but with that we added to it alerts for severe severe weather um, so some of the other things we've done is it's all right it's all uh, functional from my iPhone or from the droid uh, as well as from the BlackBerry. I'm going to log into there. Yeah, very the good. The wireless at this hotel. So you were showing me yesterday that you can you can control your video cameras around the house. You can see your front yard, your backyard, your house, anywhere you have the video cameras. You can see when doors were unlocked or locked. Correct. When garage doors were opened or closed. Yep. What else can it do? Yeah, so you'll probably see it just fine. But uh, So there's my doors opening and closing. The sensors have always been there. Uh, just now I get to see what they're doing. Uh, there's the status of my alarm system. I got a back window open, no motion activity. Uh, here's the functionality of the uh, alarm itself, right, with arm and disarm from my phone as well as. Um, so here's Utah right now. The fun part is uh, I was showing my kids. Uh, in France it was light, and uh, in Utah it was dark. Or vice versa, right? Just uh, call the kids on FaceTime. Yep, we were doing right. the FaceTime, but um, so very similar, you know, showing people just off this video. Uh, and the pan tilt camera I have in my living room will also update itself. We can go like wide. Oh, here. wow. So this is real time. Um, so that's really cool technology, that streaming technology. Did you guys build that yourself? So alarm.com is the platform. And it's been there for years and years. It's okay. just not been utilized on this level. Wow. It's also just not been, um, everybody in America can afford this. So yeah, yeah our base alarm's $300 and $60 a month but with the uh, savings from homeowner's insurance as well as uh, our thermostat is a green energy saving device. Our customers are seeing 20 to $40 a month. Wow. And that's just the, that's the conservative uh, saving. So the net cost of a yeah. Vivint alarm system is zero, it should be, why, sh why wouldn't I have that, right? Right. Do you wanna, you know, as a father, I wanna protect my family. Yeah. So that alarm's important. But now I get the alarm with all that cool stuff. Yeah. Now I'm the guy that's just walked out of Best Buy, right? With, uh, I've got my lights on here, so, um, so in-wall light switches as well as uh, lamp modules and other things. I've got my front door lock, which is, um, a quick set lock with the you know the key code on the outside yeah. of it, and they've had that since 2006, but nobody's again really really launched it within a package. Do you so know, it, it yeah. was independent. You could go online and lock your door, and then but it right. was independent. But now you're doing that from an iPhone or an Android right. or what all devices are you supporting now? So uh, so we def we support. BlackBerry, iPhone, and Android. Okay. So those, those three main devices. So these are things, now I had a guy tell me the other day that he sees mobility in three buckets. There's the internal mobilizing your own workforce. Mm -hmm. There's mobilizing your customers. Mm -hmm. And then there's enterprise asset management. Mm -hmm. Mobilizing your stuff, your equipment, your trucks, and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So um, you guys are also mobilizing your workforce. 
Now you are here speaking about what kinds of things are you doing to mobilize your workforce? So uh, two years ago we launched um, Click Software as a mobile platform to um, do optimized scheduling and routing for our engineers and uh, we released it with uh, Click Mobile so it was dispatching tickets okay. uh, wirelessly and uh, we also did for the customer uh, Click Contact where the customer knows well the engineer is on his way. Yeah. Um, we, uh, we also have Click Locate, so we know where the engineers are if we need them to go to another job or, or change. So um, that's two years in. We rolled out with Blackberries, but okay. it was a native app. Yeah. And so uh, we're actually updating to an HTML5 agnostic or non-device native um, HTML5 now store and forwards information. And I think Steve Jobs and Google uh, yeah. are on the consortium of the World Wide Web, and yeah. they took that project of HTML5 over and... Uh, they're really going to make it fantastic. So you showed us the apps that you have for your client, your customers. Mm -hmm. You talked to us about the apps you have for your workforce. Mm -hmm. Correct. And now I do some reporting as well on machine to machine or um, wireless mm -hmm. chips that communicate back their status. Mm -hmm. You guys are doing a lot in that area too. What kinds of equipment do you have in your that are reporting back their status to you wirelessly? So. Um Almost everything we have has always communicated its status, but okay. it was a dead end. Okay. We've basically just opened up, you know, the availability of that information. So when you look at the alarm history of my devices, you know, the information they're sending back and forth, it's always been there. Garage doors, front doors. Yep, you name it. <laughs> and one of the biggest ones is the thermostat. So um, you do your uh, thermostat template online. Yeah. And the system will now manage uh, your thermostat for you. Wow. So you've got um, the most advanced templates you've ever had for energy savings. Yeah. As well as, I'm just, you know, if I'm on vacation, I want to turn the thing off. And uh, we, we drove up to Idaho. We went to Twin Falls, in yeah. fact. And uh, I had turned it off. And on my way home, I didn't anticipate it being 60 degrees. Yeah. But 60 degrees is a little cold for my kids. So um, being able to log on my phone and know it's 60 degrees in my house... And uh, it's that's not um, it. There's a constant refresh as well as a push. Yeah. So I can push, or uh, the information's there on the M to M. So then you can adjust it and turn your heat up. So we came home and it was perfect. To put it uh, at uh, 68, I think, and we got home in comfort. Well, there you go. Well, yep. Scott, thanks for um, being here yeah, in Kansas and sharing the information and for the audience here on the video. Yeah, thanks for doing it. Yeah.